All right, hopefully I can get through this. Seems like every time I hit that record button, a helicopter or plane or something goes over. In any case, I've got my backpack on here. This is just my little day pack. And I've got this slung over the top of it. And it works great. It works better uh, when you're not trying to hold the camera out. But yeah, it's a nice package. Just grab and go. Having the adjuster is very nice. So you can adjust the height of it on the fly if you're carrying a pack or you take the pack off and you want to cinch it up a little tighter. And, uh, or if uh, you're carrying a chest pack, I carry a chest pack, mm, not all the time, but a lot of times when I'm hunting I do, my rangefinder and stuff like that in it. So yeah, it's really versatile. I like it, very well made. Beachandtactical.com and see ya. All right, how's it going everybody? I've got a quick video here. I've been testing something out that I think some people, if you're if you're an ax person or tomahawk person, you might be interested in. Occasionally I get people that ask me to put belt clips on my sheaths. And honestly, I just do not like doing that. For one, this sheath is basically designed to only cover the front half of the ax so you can use the rear while keeping the blade covered. Protect you, protect your gear, that sort of thing. Uh, Mainly, this if I put a belt clip on here, it's going to hang a little awkward because it's not balanced right. There's other guys out there that make full coverage sheaths that you can hang a belt clip on. So I kind of just stick to my design because I make this for quite a few different axes, about 35 different axes and tomahawks. It keeps me pretty busy I, and I can't really design. You've got to make a whole new design and find the balance point of every axe. And that's also going to depend on what belt clip that people want. So I just, I, I steer, steer away from that. Um, the other thing is once you start getting up into this mid-size to larger full-size axes, carrying it on your belt or molly is just, that leverage on that, it's going to break stuff. Right? Either your belt clip or, or a backpack, some backpack webbing. All right. So anyways, having said that, I do see the, the benefits of having hand, being able to hike around hands-free and take your axe with you. I do that quite a bit. I go out for hikes in the morning and the evening when I'm out camping, gathering firewood, things like that. A lot of times I just take my axe, a uh, small saw, maybe a cup of coffee or, or whatnot. So I do see the benefit to that. So I am testing out a product that I picked up. This is from Beach and Tactical. All right. These are handmade right here in the US by Jacob, and he does a fantastic job. And I've really been trying to focus on smaller makers and stay away from the big conglomerate businesses that are kind of swallowing everything up. Um, I'm really happy with the quality on this. You're gonna pay a little bit. As I said, these are handmade, and you get to pick the color of the wrapping, the color of the strap, and your buckle color, all right? Now this is, a, what's listed on his website is a baldric and I believe the original idea was to carry a large knife kind of sling style but he made some modifications to it with these double sections here to put this on there and this will hold the handle of your axe so boy I bet the mic on that little thing is not liking this wind so anyways I picked one of these up because that's kind of what I am into is axes and this is designed to be a two-point sling for the like the larger leather sheaths with the buckles on the front and the back. A council tool would be a good example of that. Uh, for me, I'm trying to use it with the sheath that I make for the Fiskers. So I really like these for just a cheap kick around camp axe. And what I found is it's actually working out pretty well. So I have this little toggle on here to help pop the sheath off on the X11. It's just a piece of 550 cord and then you just buckle the handle. I know this seems a little awkward because I'm trying to do it on camera here, but honestly it works really well. Very happy with it. It's got an adjuster strap here to adjust the height, the carry height, and it works out really well. Really comfortable, and it works out just fine. So if you just want to run out and go grab some firewood, maybe walk a trail and do a little trail clearing, trail maintenance, things like that, works great. One thing I don't like about carrying axes fixed to your belt is you're pulling this 
you're, you're keeping the sheath on your belt and you're pulling this out and there's potential there to cut your equipment or cut you. Same thing with carrying it molly strap style and attack hard fixing the sheath to your backpack. You're gonna pull that out and if you keep your axes sharp like I do, you can definitely ruin some gear that way. But it's pretty easy, keeps the sheath attached, use your ax and especially in the winter, you don't have to worry about your sheath dropping down into the snow, disappearing forever. So anyways, so far I'm really happy with it. The craftsmanship is top notch. Sewing, stitching and all that is, is fantastic. There's different types of buckles. The standard one is this little deal here. This is a um, duffel buckle. And it's the nice thing about this is that you can actually clip it on itself for a single point style. So one of the, one of the things I like doing with this is just taking like an extra knife and clipping this on the strap. Now, if I want to go get some firewood or just go for a hike, I've got my bigger blades on one grab and go package. All right, so I'll link to his website down below. There's lots of dis different options there. And he actually, this, this design is based on his rifle sling and I'm absolutely uh, going to get one of those, at least one, for my uh, my bush rifle, so to speak. All right, so there's a package there. You can hang that up in camp and just have your blades, grab them and go. I really like this. Um, also makes a lightweight version that does not have the webbing or the 550 cord wrap on it. This is something nice you can throw in your pocket for carrying something. Um, I've got this set up. This is just a water bottle and a blade and a couple little you know, gadgets and stuff. Just if you're going on a hike, you want to take some water or a smaller kit like this. So this basically just shows that, you know, this is a pretty versatile system. And again, with the adjuster, you can adjust the height and how it's riding. So if you're scouting out an area to hunt, any number of different things. And you can carry just about anything. The tripod that I've got that camera setting on, this will work very well for slinging that tripod. So yeah, it works out pretty nice. I'll leave a link in the description. I give these two thumbs up. Um, being able to pick the color, there's some camo patterns and the uh, different style of clip and all that is pretty nice. And the, the height adjuster is nice being able to quickly adjust it. And then you've got extra strap here to do an overall, you know, if you're a tall guy, big guy, little skinny guy, short guy like me, you can actually adjust it for your body size and still have the adjustment range for comfort. All right, or if you're carrying a backpack, and I have been using this with a backpack and it works works really well, so. All right, that's about all I've got to say. Not much else to talk about. I will try and do a follow-up on this if I can after I've used it for a while, make sure there's no issues. There shouldn't be. Everything is really high quality on here. All right, that's about it. Stay safe, practice your skills, leave a comment, leave a suggestion. Constructive criticism is always welcome. That's how we learn. And don't forget, guys, that if, if you're tired of censorship and things like that, that uh, I also post on odyssey.com, and it's a, it's a great little up-and-coming video platform. It works really well. They've integrated uh, payments, so you don't have to rely on commercials from advertisers and things like that. And I think it'll really keep it kind of honest like YouTube used to be a long time ago. Anyways, all right, I don't wanna go down that path too deep. We can discuss that on another, another time. See you next time. Yeah, it works out great. I mean, it works really well. I'm really happy with it. So I've got quick access to my ax if I need to do, if I'm doing. Really? <laughs> oh. It's hilarious. It's gotta be the same guy just going in circles.